Hello, I would like to talk to you about cervical cancer and fertility preservations. I think there's three important points I would just like to highlight when we talk about cervical cancer and the fertility of a patient. We know that cervical cancer is the most commonest cancer in young women worldwide. That's the first point. The second point is we can eradicate this disease as well. We know through widespread um, vaccination of cervical cancer in women before they become um, sexually active, that has reduced the prevalence of cervical cancer about 40% worldwide. The third point is cervical cancer, if it is detected very early, can be treated successfully. The big question is, so how does cervical cancer and the treatment thereof, how does that impact on your fertility? And I think if we want to answer this question, we need to look at what is the characteristics of cervical cancer. So we know that cervical cancer starts locally, and this is at the transformation zone in the cervix, and then gradually, over years, not, not rapidly, over years it starts spreading to the side walls, to the vagina, and to the upper part of the uterus as well. So what is very important then is if you do your regular screening, your regular cervical pap smears with your gynecologist or general practitioner, these pre-infiltrating lesions can be picked up. And as soon as it's picked up, it can be treated successfully. Now, the question is, what is the impact of the treatment of cervical cancer on your fertility? So we do know that the earlier the detection, the lower the impact will be on your fertility. So if we look at the cervix, this is a, the cervix is a unique organ. It's a unique part of the uterus. So it's got two functions. The one is it has cervical glands inside the uterus. And during ovulation, these glands secrete mucus. And this mucus acts as a transport medium for the sperm to swim upwards. It also acts as a filter to screen out the bad sperm. And it can also act as a a reservoir where lots of sperm can sit um, and be sort of incubated as well. So by treating cervical cancer, and we'll go through the different treatment modalities now, you can actually harm these um, cervical glands, which can in impact on your cervical mucus. So when you are ovulating, then this mucus is decreased and that can sort of affect the transport of the sperm. Second of all, we know the, the cervix is a fibromuscular tissue. It's a very strong sort of tissue that sort of keeps the baby in for nine months in your uterus. So once you start treating these lesions, you can potentially weaken this muscle as well. And that can put you at risk of premature birth. And I think these things is very important just to recognize. And most gynecologists will recognize this potentially when you treated your cervix or your precancerous lesion, there is a risk for you to have premature birth. And I think it, this is important to discuss with your gynecologist during your, your birth.